Hello everyone, this is Iris Shadow speaking, and welcome back to The Walking Dead. We are going to continue on with our story after completing episode 2, and now we are on a long road ahead. Alright, so let's just get right into it. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! Uh, a little bit of recap. Never I want to anybody. know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. You've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters. And you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. <laughs> no one's trying to cut you out of anything. We'll see. Those look like the people who raided my Calm camp. Down, you're paranoid. Fuck you! Did you tell anyone out there who you were? Or that you were tied to this place? That's right. I know who you are. And I know you're a killer. He's not dead! Somebody I know you help get me. killed. Come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it. Wait for it. There it is. What the fuck? Fucking right. Sounds like a car. It's a shitload of food and supplies back here. We have to take this, Clementine. We need it to survive. Don't worry, little girl. Bandit's got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. Blah. Chick creeps me out. Yeah, same as last time. Telltale Games presents in association with Skybound Entertainment. The Walking Dead. Yay. National Guard off orders evacuation of city. Ooh. What we doing now? Episode 3, A Long Road Ahead. Looks like this is our lucky day. Yeah, maybe. maybe. They tend to take us by surprise. Yeah, well the less I see, the happier I am. Fuck's Kenny's problem. Well, that's not very well fortified. Oh, man. You made up your mind yet? About what? When it comes to the getting the hell out of Macon, I bet you're in the let's stay put camp considering I've been pushing everyone to leave. We should go. Motel's run its course, and it's not safe. Yeah. Well, if that's what you think, you should probably fucking speak up. Lily's dug oh in. Oh my god. <laughs> There's no pleasing the fucker. Okay, just like last time. Over the rig, into the pharmacy, and scrape together whatever supplies are left. We didn't leave much in there. Hey, we're out of options. Something's better than nothing. Yeah, that ladder doesn't look very good. Shit. Yeah. You okay? The ladder's come loose. I'm not sure how many more trips she's got in her. I'm not sure how many more trips we've got in us. Ah, uh, stop kidding. complaining. Fucking climb. And it's gonna break as soon as I touch it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Looks like she's had it. What now? I'll find another way up. We better get a move on. Uh, let's see. Barrel. Jeep. What's this? Uh, ah, the tow cable. So good, huh? She'll be fine. If you say so. You're the only one she seems to give a damn about anymore. Well, you and Clem. Okay. Like they realize they have to have gas in the tr in the truck for it to work, right? Still 
upset with you for agreeing to take that stuff from the station wagon? I hope not. Hope it ain't worth a damn. God damn, shut up, Kenny. Hope it ain't worth a damn. Of course not. Duck was asking about that guy at Herschel's farm last night. Really? I wasn't sure it phased him. Of course it did. He'll get over it. Herschel's son is one of how many now? We've all seen a lot worse. That's a fucking thing to say. Talking about my kid here. <laughs> you're sure you're up for this? Lee, I'm fine. I've got this. Give me your hand. Shit. What in the fuck, Kenny? Was ah? Oh. You are a twat. A nice one. Next time I'm bringing Ben. Help me get out. What in the fuck? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> it doesn't matter. We gotta keep moving. Let's just leave her. Let's think about this. No, oh, she's bitten. She bitten. We gotta shoot her. Put her out of this misery. No, we're here. What do you mean? I mean, we leave her alive, and she draws them all too, buying us time. Yeah, think about it. We're always worrying about the ones we can't got a see. point. She stays alive and brings them all out of their holes. Leave her. Fuck it. Holy fuck. She screams like a beast. Let's go. She'll keep busy. Holy shit. I could just imagine the woman in the fucking recording studio just going ape shit on on that. Sh wow. We should be good to clear this place out, but we ain't got all day. Get everything you can out of these racks. Holy fuck, she's Don't still going. The counter this time. I'll clear down here and then we got to go. I grab as much shit as possible. Snatch and run. She's okay. gone. There's not much time now. I think I got nine items. Ten. Eleven. Uh, what else is there? Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Nothing here. Oh. Okay. Seventeen. Ah. Fuck. Incoming. Come on, Lee. Up and over. I'm gonna Still fall. Nope. Oh, Holy shit. Get him off me, Kenny. Oh, he's gonna be a fucking dick again, isn't he? God damn it, Kenny. <laughs> Let's fucking get out. Poor bastard. What in the fuck? Yeah. 
got a fucking helmet on. You're not gonna break him. There you go. Eat a dick, Colonel. Whatever the fuck you are. Pilot. Holy shit. They're everywhere. You took care of yourself, didn't you? Fucking Kenny. I don't remember Kenny being this, uh, hostile towards me the last time I played this. But then again, that was, like, almost two years ago? Not really sure. Who the fuck is she talking to? Ben found some stickers in a drawer, and I put them on my walkie. Hey, sweet pea. That's neat. I'll find you in a minute. Uh... Looks like we got the kid on watch again. What'd you get? We might as well leave a sign out that says the men are gone. Come and rape our women and children. Huh. Wow. So, what did you get? A lot of stuff. We're fine, by the way. Nice work. This will keep us going. If we carry on like this, we'll get through the winter here. The winter? We'll freeze our asses off here! Because piling into an RV with you, after what you did to my dad, is so appealing. Why wouldn't it be? You know I'll do what it takes to keep everyone safe. We're already safe. We have to go eventually, Lily. I know, Lee. Yep. I know. Eventually is different. At it again, are we? Can it, Carly. Don't boss people around. I'm sorry. Everything can't come down to the same disagreement. Lily's concerns are valid, you know. Of course you think they are. God damn it, I'm not on anyone's side, Kenny. This is about everyone. Yeah, about it is. Food situation. What about protection? What about when this place falls? Somebody's got to be thinking about this shit. How has this not been working? We have everything we need. Because of me, Lily. No, because Lee knows how to take care of people, not just things. We deal with shit as it comes, just like we always do. Exactly. And when 15 bandits hop over that wall in the middle of the night, what then? You just going to deal with that? Everything that happens to us is another excuse for you to pull this crap about leaving. All I want is a week of peace, of not hearing it. Do you know how we got these supplies? Your pal and I got lucky and let a girl get eaten out there. What? Some girl came screaming out of an alley. She had dead hanging all over her. She <laughs> gave us enough time to get everything we could out of the drugstore. You just let her suffer like what? Like bait? God, what is happening? She was dead anyway. It made the most sense in the moment. Lee's right. We've been putting our lives on the line doing these runs into the city. You wouldn't believe the shit we see. We yeah. all appreciate it, Ken. You should be thanking Lee for not shooting that girl. It's not so easy for him. Look, uh... Macon and its people aren't <laughs> saving. It's not a town. <laughs> it's full of walkers. And the people who were left are dying and wandering what out the onto the streets. What the fuck did Carly come it's all the way over just to make Earth, that face? And it's coming. This way. It's not going to be easier out on the road! Oh. What I know? I know you're not above murder. I know somebody has been stealing our supplies. That's right, stealing. And I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every day. Now everybody get out. Arr. Jesus. She'll get over it. She's riling everybody up otherwise. She'll get over it. You understand, Ken. All I know is, whenever this shit happens, I'm the fucking bad guy. I'd like oh. to thank you for once. For once! Thank you for being the bad guy, Kenny.